This video is going over statistics. So um, this is going over a few kind of lessons and we're combining them today, but overall it's about statistics. So this is a fun one. So I can find the mean, median, mode, and range of data. I can find the, find the five number summary to create and interpret box plots. So we're gonna put some skills together. Make sure you have done the warm up as a class. If you didn't do the warm up as a class, um, watch the video and then do that then. So activity one, finding the middle, okay? So there's different ways to find the middle um, or different averages, and they're called median, mean, range, and mode. And those are the ones we'll focus on first. So it says here is the dot plot showing the travel time in minutes of Elena's bus rides to school. So some of the times, it, two times it took her six minutes, um, one time it took her seven minutes, three times it took her eight minutes to get to school, and so on. One time it took her 12 minutes. So it says find the median. So make a note of what the median is. The median is the middle number. Okay, middle number um, when data is smallest to biggest. So make sure you write that down. The um, <clears throat> median is the middle number. Think like there's a median in the highway. It's a middle number once the data is arranged from smallest to biggest, okay? So here are our data. Each of these dots represents a data point. So I have two sixes, so I'm gonna write it out. Two sixes, I have one seven, I have three eights, okay? I have one, two, three nines, I have two tens, and I have one twelve. Notice I only put the um, numbers that have dots on them. I don't put a five or 14, 13, or 11 because there's no dots on them, so I don't have any data on there. This is just a number line. So it's not the middle of our number line, but the middle of our data, okay? So the middle of our data, one way to find the middle is just to um, kind of cross out on each side until we find the middle number. And my middle number is eight, okay? So I'm gonna say my median, median equals eight. Okay, if, if the median is between two numbers, so sometimes if there's an even number of numbers and it was between two numbers, like let's say it was between eight to nine, like if I go back and forth and between, my middle is between two numbers, then what I do is I find out what number is between those numbers. So I can add those numbers up, eight plus nine, and then divide it by two, because that tells me what's in the middle. So eight plus nine is 17, and 17 divided by two would be 8.5 or eight and a half. So it's the number right in between those numbers. So sometimes our median isn't any of our data points, but it's just showing the middle between the two numbers is that number. But again, in this case, we don't need that, but that will come up in the future, for sure. Okay, next one, the mean. Think of the mean as the one, it's the meanest because it takes the longest. So mean is the average. So how to find the average is we add all numbers and divide by um, the number of data points. So we add up all the numbers and then we divide it by how many numbers we have. So the mean is the average. It takes the longest usually. So what we would do is we add up all these data points. So I would add six plus six. So we're doing six plus six plus seven plus eight plus eight plus eight plus nine plus nine plus nine plus 10 plus 12. You add all those up. And whatever that answer is, you divide it by how many numbers there are. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So then I'm gonna divide it by eleven. I'm gonna make sure I have eleven data points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yikes, that means we messed up counting or we didn't put all the numbers we needed to. So I'm double checking my work. Ooh, I see right away where I messed up. So where I messed up is right here. And this is why we check. So there's two tens, and I only wrote one ten. So I wrote ten and ten, and then my next number is twelve. 
So that means my median must be wrong. So this is, oh, we're learning lessons as we go. So I'm gonna redo my middle number because of that. So I'm gonna do my middle number. One, two, three, four, five. So my middle number is between eight and nine. So this is perfect. So to find out the number that's in between eight and nine, we would add eight plus nine and divide it by two. Or in other words, eight plus nine is 17. 17 divided by two is 8.5, okay? Or eight and one half. So 8.5. So my median here, I'm gonna just change it is 8.5. And I'm gonna pay attention when I check you guys' notes that you what was into that part. Okay, before I add them up, so I'm gonna make sure I have another 10 here. And then a 12. Okay, so practice adding up all your data points and then we're gonna divide it by 12 because there's actually 12 numbers or 12 dots. So you can use a calculator for this one, which is nice. So we're doing six plus six plus seven plus eight plus eight plus eight plus nine plus nine plus ten plus ten plus twelve and then I'm going to divide that so I got 102 and I'm still dividing that by 12 which equals 8.5 so my my mean is also 8.5 how weird is that so my mean equals 8.5 and if you get a number that isn't close to these numbers you're welcome to add them up again and divide by 12 just to make sure you didn't mess up a little something in your calculator as you're calculating. Okay, the range is, um, just think of the range as the difference. Okay, so to find the range, it's the maximum number, the max minus the minimum, meaning our biggest data point minus our smallest data point. So our biggest data point is 12. It's not 14 because there's no data on 14. So it's 12 minus our smallest data point. It's not five, it's six, because there's a dot on six, there's not a dot on five. So 12 minus six. And 12 minus six is six. So my range six equals my range. Okay? So the range is nice and easy. Another one that's nice and easy is the mode. The mode is the one we see most often. So write that down, most often. <clears throat> so we look at our dot plot and we look at the ones that are, have like the biggest peak. So eight has three data points and nine has da three data points. None of the other numbers have more than three. So we're gonna say both of those are the mode. So you can have more than one mode, but the ones that we see most often. So I would say eight and nine are my mode, or are my modes, plural. So that's fun, we corrected our mistakes, and we have our notes written for that. That was fun. Okay, now moving on. <clears throat> box and whisker plots. So this, these are called box plots. I used to call them box and whisker plots because they look like a box with whiskers because they have two lines coming out. And so I'm gonna show you how we find, how we create a box and whisker plot and what the what it tells us about different things it box plots can is a way to represent our data okay so starting with activity two <clears throat> okay so, so here are the ages of the people at one party listed from least to greatest so they already arranged it from least to greatest for us so we're going to use this data to find create a box plot okay so, um, okay, so I'm gonna actually, work, I'm gonna scroll down to this part to create the box plot because the ones above are just helping you like create, um, get there. So I'm gonna, without reading all the steps, you can read the steps if you would like, or you can just follow me because I'll show you the steps. So what I would do first is I'm gonna find the median, my middle number, okay? So I'm gonna find the median and what that would look like is going, to, going one at a time. So I'm gonna find what is my middle number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
So my middle number should be between 20 and 20. The easy thing if it's between two of the same number, then this is it's still that number. So my median is 20. So um, I'm going to label this. And if you could, you're going to label this to 20. Okay. 20 is my middle number. I'm going to put a box right there. And I'm going to say this is called my quartile 2. Q2. Q2. Q2 means my middle number. Okay. Quartile 2. I'll also label it quartile 2. Quartile 2. Okay, so 20 is a important information that I'll need to create a box plot. Okay, now I'm going to find the middle number of the first half of my data. So from 7 to 20 is 50% of my data. And then from this 20 to 42 is another 50% of my data. So the quartile 2 or the median splits our data in half. Okay, so now I'm going to find the middle of the first half of my data. And this is going to be called quartile 1 or the upper quartile. Um, or the lower quartile, sorry. So I'm going to find my middle number. One, two, three, four, five. And so it's between 10 and 11. So in this case, I'm going to say my um, quartile one. So this is called quartile one. Quartile one. It's also called the lower quartile because it's a, um, the middle of my bottom half of my data. So lower quartile. Okay, so it's a number between 10 and 11. So to find that you can add 10 plus 11 and divide by 2 and that would give me 10 and a half or 10.5. Okay, 10.5. It's like the median or the middle number of the first half of my data. So that's called quartile 1. Then on my top half of my data I'm going to also find the middle number. So starting with this 20, I'm going to find the middle number, and this is going to be called quartile 3, or the upper quartile. So I'm going to find my middle number. I'm going to be careful as I do this, so I don't make a silly mistake. So it's between 28 and 30. Again, this is called quartile 3. Um, and this is also called the upper quartile upper quartile. So I have to see what um, number is between 28 and 30. So if I'm just counting, I know it's 28, 29, 30. So 29 is between 28 and 30. So I know my number is 29. If you're just going to do it math way, you can add up 28 plus 30 and divide it by 2 because when you divide by 2, it cuts it in half and then that will also give you 29. So 29 is my upper quartile or my quartile 3. Um, so this is the middle number of the top half of my data. So I have, since I split up my data into quartiles, I could think, okay, this is 25% of my data. From quartile one to quartile two, this is 25% of my data. From quartile two to quartile three, this is 25% of my data. And from quartile three to my back to 42 is 25% of my data. Okay. Other numbers I'm going to label are 42. So 42 is called your maximum number. Okay, and then 7 is your minimum number or your smallest number. Notice in boxes I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers. And those 5 numbers are called a 5 number summary. And we use those 5 numbers to create a box plot. Okay, and that's what we're going to do now. So for those five numbers, I'm going to put them on this number line. So it says number of blinks. So my lowest number of blinks is seven. So I'm going to go, okay, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to go up and put a dot above that seven. And I can label this here so I don't get it mixed up. And then I'm going to put a dot where quartile one is. So it's 10.5, so seven, eight, nine, ten. So 10.5 is right here. And I put it between 10 and 11, right? So I'm putting a dot there. And then at quartile 2 is 20. So at 20, um, I'm going to put a dot. And then quartile 3 is 29. So I'm going to put a dot on the number line at 29. And then the last one, my maximum number is 42. So above 42, so it's 40, 41, 42. 
and then put a dot. Notice I put them all in the same line, okay? So with those five dots, which are called our five number summary, we've got our minimum number, our lower quartile, our quartile two, or our medium, median, our quartile three, and our maximum number. We're gonna create a box plot, or a box and whisker plot. So um, we're gonna create a box around the middle three numbers, which are the quartile one, two, and three, okay? Not the minimum and maximum numbers. We're gonna create a box, it's kind of like one big rectangle. Notice the edges of my box are going through quartile one and quartile three, so I'm gonna label it quartile one and quartile three. Then the dot in the middle is my median, okay? Um, which is quartile two, so I'm gonna draw a line here through it. So it's a box with like a line through, and it's not always right in the middle because our data points aren't necessarily perfectly aligned. But this number is representing quartile two, which I'm also gonna put in parentheses as my median. Always the line inside the box is your median. So that's where you know your middle number of your data is. Then you draw your whiskers. So the whiskers are from your quartile one, you draw a line to your quartile or to your minimum number, and from quartile three to your maximum number. And let's label it. This is your maximum, and I'll just label it max. Well, do maximum, sure. And then this is our minimum number. So that, that's what a box plot can tell us. It tells us our minimum, our quartile one, quartile two, three, and um, our maximum. So we know our data is spread from seven to 42 based on our box plot. We know the median of our data or the middle of the data is at 20. We know 25%, um, so this is the part I want you to label. So from their minimum to quartile one, this is 25% of your data. From quartile one to quartile two, this is another 25% of our data, because remember we split it into quarters. From quartile two to quartile three is 25% of our data. And from quartile three to the maximum is another 25% of our data. So notice inside the box is 50% of our data, okay? Because 25% plus 25% is 50%. Um, so that information can help you with all sorts of questions that talk about box plots. So this is kind of fun. And thank you for sticking it out. I know this is lots to take in. So let's move on. Um, so box plots, we're just keeping in mind, sometimes they'll ask you questions about box plots. And since we know what each of the parts of the box mean, we can answer questions very quickly. Um, so you can start on practice problems so you can practice some of these skills. Thank you for watching the video. You're champions. Here we go.